Nicole Scott here for Netbook News and we're down here at Toro. This is Xiaoya and she's going to show me uh, an NFC application by Toro called Akami and it's a couponing application that uh, we're going to be seeing in the near future because well, NFC is hot these days. So basically what we have here, this would be the back end uh, that you would see when you sign in. So you'd have your choice of all of these applications. So the top downloads, the coupons, so these would all be uh, different, you know, different things you could buy. Uh, like a coupon at KFC, maybe ten percent off. Um, let's see what's in there. Well, no description just yet. But we could choose to, oh, watch a video. So if there's any commercials that are linked on YouTube, um, it could be an explanation of the coupon, or it could be maybe luckily there'll be the chicken pizza that was on sale here in Taiwan earlier. <laughs> we have a great recipe to tell. So you could learn more about the company. Um, and the other great thing is if we, if we go back and look at some of our existing applications, you can see that EasyCard is in there. And EasyCard is actually a transportation card for here in Taiwan. You can use it at 7-Eleven. You can use it on the MRT. You can pay taxis with it. It's kind of become a pervasive purchasing card using NFC. Um, and so we, we, you can actually have this linked to your phone. Uh, in the demo, there's actually a few other options too for uh, the Oyster Card in London, I think, as well. Yeah, so Metro in St. Petersburg. So I mean, like, there's like, just a whole bunch of different ways that we could see um, NFC being used by, by carriers. Yeah, Octopus Card. I mean, all, all of these things are very, very viable and re realistic uh, for NFC in, in the near and near future. So if we take a look at the ability to share, so we can kind of say, well, you know, hey, maybe you didn't know that you could have Oyster Card on your, on your phone and we could share it on Facebook or on Twitter or we could suggest it to friends, actually. So there's, there you are, so we, could, so we could suggest it. And then the, log in. Yeah, and so then she'd log out. And so Xiaoya has actually logged into her account and then we can see that she's received a suggestion for L'Oreal and for Octopus. So Laurent's recommended that, hey, you should try this on your, you know, if maybe you didn't know you could use Octopus on your phone, which would be definitely a great, um, a great thing to have. And if we go back, you can actually see that there's, oh, and then we could add it to the phone. And so you can see, you can, you can provide your payment information. So like link it to a credit card number, and then you can see it showing up inside her apps there, and it's gray right now because it's not actually on the phone. Once we sync it with the phone, it'll turn uh, full color like, like above. Mm -hmm. But if we just go back to uh, Laurent's account, then we can actually see how the, the phone adding works. So here we are back in Laurent's account because we actually have Laurent's HTC Desire right here. So we can actually decide to drag over um, Starbucks in, in there, and you can see it's grayed out. It's sinking over, and then we can decide to sync it with the mobile phone here. Uh, the great thing about uh, this this uh, style of, of applications is there are actually secure applications loaded onto your your SIM card. So if you decided to say move from an HTC Desire to your new phone, maybe a Samsung, if they're doing NFC, I think they are, and then you could actually go into the back end of the preferences and decide to change it so you keep all your widgets. Right, and that you can actually see that screen right here. So you can decide uh, which types of phone you want. You could change it over to Samsung or whatever, and then just change it over. But since we're not changing phones, you won't actually screw up the settings. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see here that um, the coupon's actually been loaded, out, loaded on. And since this doesn't actually have um, NFC, we're, we, we fake NFC by just tapping the screen. You can see we've added another two points. So every time we go into Starbucks, we get another two points. So we drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> and so then there we can see we've got a full points card here. And what does that mean? We get a free coffee. So the next time we go in, we just tap our phone here at Starbucks. And we redeem it for a free coffee. So you can see, in addition to viral marketing, where you can 
suggest coupons to friends. You can actually have loyalty cards on here um, to be able to redeem lots of great, great, great items. So this is a, a, quick, a quick look at what's to come for NFC applications using your phone, because we all know that NFC is hot, NFC is coming, and it's going to be huge. So this has been Nicole Scott down at the Toro headquarters here in Taipei, taking a look at NFC.